in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Tip on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program, known here on the internet as the mighty, 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 mm, Angel Snap Nub 7. I am your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I have a lot to cover in just a few minutes, so on this visit, let ye get busy. I want to send this message to the Caucasian, the pink people, or the white people of America, and really around this planet, but particularly here in the United States of America. When we go to the store and we buy certain products, when we buy a car, most times when we buy anything, you are encouraged to read the instructions. And most times that product will come with a warning label. What is a warning label? It is a message to you from the manufacturer of that product to warn you of something. If you do this, if you do that, if you touch this, if you touch that, if you do not handle this product the way it was designed, you could cause yourself serious harm or even death. It is a proven fact, and we do know that there are those, no matter how many warning labels you place on a product, they are going to do what they want to do. So many of us, we ignore the warning due to our general ignorance. We wish to be ignorant. We wish to be stupid, and we ignore the warning label. We also ignore when we are warned verbally. This video is a warning to the citizens of white America. Why white America? Because it is you who have the most influence it is you who are in power. You have never listened and you have never heed the warning of no black person, no slave in this country. Although you claim that you now respect Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., you still ignore his warnings when he spoke about Vietnam and his opinion about war. Because the leadership of this nation are warmongers. This nation has been warned by people like Dr. King and other black folks of whom you have no respect for such warning. But there are countless Caucasian pink people, scholars and scientists and historians and very intelligent persons who continue to warn the leadership that the path that this nation is traveling is one of self-destruction. It is just a matter of time. And with the current actions of the president and the Congress leaning towards striking a country that has done nothing to this nation to continue this pattern of warmongering, will eventually, and it, and it is inevitable, to bring destruction and suffering and chaos and mayhem to this nation. But most times, those of us, when you look at the warner and you view that warner as nothing, 
then that warner is ignored. So you can ignore what I have to say. It is expected because for the whole 200 some years that this nation has been in existence, they've ignored warning. And now this is the accumulation and you will now begin to see once and for all the consequences of ignoring the warning labels, whether that label is written or verbal. Did you know that this nation has been in existence for at least 235 years? And within that 235 years, 209 years, this nation you claim it is the land of peace. You claim that it is the land of freedom. But 209 of those years have been at war. And as a black person, black people living in this nation, we have suffered the whole 235 years. At war or at peace. We've never known this freedom, justice, and the American way that you speak of. Just last month. It is still found to be necessary. To march on Washington. After 50 years. Because nothing has changed. March on Washington for what? For jobs. March on Washington for what? Because of the poor. March on Washington because of the war. The same circumstances. Nothing has changed. So we warn America today, not for my sake, for your sake, but I understand that whatever happens to you because I live among you, I will also suffer consequence. So I have no choice to but tell you. It's just like a like if you are riding in the car with somebody and they doing something stupid. You don't control the car, but you try to warn the driver because you know if that driver wrecks that car, has an accident, you will get hurt also. So all of us with any type of sense, and we can see what is going on with the driver, we offer warning. In fact, we will try to grab the steering wheel ourselves if it is possible because you have a driver that is not in his right state of mind, not in her right state of mind, looking for an accident where they can kill us and kill others. There is an old saying, those who live by the sword, and your sword has been in action for 209 years. Those who live by the sword will die by the sword. And what you don't understand, white citizens, Caucasian, pink citizens of the United States of America, your leadership does not represent you. Your leadership is bought and paid for by forces that you cannot see. Your vote don't mean nothing. It is the money. It is those who control the money that control the leadership. Those who can, who can pay the legal bribes, make the moves, who have economic influence. That is who your leaders care about. And your leaders are in the pockets of warmongers because the warmongers wish to expand their territory, their domain, their influence, their power. Your leadership has sold out. And either you play with the big boys, they will kill you, or they will force you to go back where you came from. Ask anybody in the political arena. You either dead, or you quit, or you play ball. One or the other. And see, the fathers of this nation were smart enough to know such a day would come. So in your constitution, 
the fathers of America told you plainly in the Constitution when government becomes tyrannical, when government becomes oppressive, when your government goes out of its mind and it's been that way for a long, long time, the forefathers of this nation told you, the citizens, that you have the right to bear arms, not necessarily against a for protection and defense against a foreign source, but against crooked and corrupt government. You have a right to form a militia. Again, not necessarily against a foreign power, a foreign enemy. But when the government becomes corrupt and nobody and no government is more corrupt than what you have seen within the last few decades for a long, long time. And that is the answer to your problem is to kick all these suckers out of your government. Obama, McCain, all these idiots, sit them down and start all over again. It's time for a military coup. Whether you can get cooperation from the military that is under control by your corrupt president and Congress and Senate or whatever, and judicial system, then you must form your militia, bear your arms, and take on this government, and just like you say, don't take your country back from the black folks, we never had it. Take your country back from these corrupt people, and if you have changed, you claim you are not like your ancestors who were slave owners, those who were conquerors, those who were the rapists and the manipulators of the earth, then you go to war with a corrupt government and put America on the proper course so that it can be the proper example of a beautiful nation. And your voting is not going to do anything. Your pleading is not going to do anything. This government must be brought down by the sword. And you suffer, and you don't even know why. The American people, you are hated, and the white man is called the devil all over the planet because of the policies of your upper echelon, your leadership, that you don't even benefit. In fact, you are used as a tool in their evils. It is your leadership, it is your government that keep racial division going on that refuse to give women their rights and gender division it is the government your leadership that keeps our children your children in America illiterates that are happy to keep you drunk keep you a dope fiend keep your mentality on porn licking vagina sucking a penis all this is done to keep you in the church, praying to some false god, keep you religious fired, so that you and I, you are distracted from seeing what is really going on. Because what is really going on is not in, in the best interest of a nation that should be America the beautiful, but now it is America the ugly because of its policies. And you, Caucasian pink people of this country. You are hated and death is wished upon you and you know that the only thing you do is go to work every day. Do your nine to five. You trying to make it but you are called devil and evil because you continue to keep in power leadership that misrepresent you or are they representing you in the correct manner. Are you a warmonger? Are you a murderer? Are you a rapist? Are you greedy? Are you selfish? Are you angry? If these things are not you, if you're not really a racist, then the day for voting in politics is over. There's only one solution because these people are not going to move easy. You must stand up against corrupt government, your leadership that has turned your nation 
into a place where the forefathers did not want it to go. Thank you for listening. to John Daniel coming. Let's talk about it. This is your brother, Tariq Ibn Ra. This was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth.